For those of you just joining us, six men and three women have found Donald Trump liable for sexually abusing and defaming the writer E. Jean Carroll, but not uh, 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 raping her. The distinction is lost on a lot of non-legal types. Uh, Brian Claypool, uh, a good legal type, criminal defense attorney extraordinaire. Brian, um, that distinction, what is it? Yeah, Neil, great to be back with you. Yeah, rape is actual intercourse where uh, allegedly President Trump would have penetrated E. Jean Carroll. The jury found that he did not penetrate her, but that he groped her. For example, he may have touched her breast or her buttocks. That's sexual abuse, that's sexual assault, but it's not rape. Now, we know the former president has said he's going to appeal. Uh, but there's a $5 million uh, damage award that goes to E. Jean Carroll that he would have to pay. Um, obviously, he's appealing and no intention of paying it for the time being. Where do you think this goes? What is appealable here? Yeah, Neil, I think there's two issues that, that, that Trump is going to argue on appeal. One is the two other women that you mentioned that came in and testified that they were also sexually assaulted by, by President Trump. I know there's a law in New York that allows testimony similar to this, but my understanding is that the, the incidents have to be substantially similar. And what Trump's lawyers are going to argue, these two other incidents with these two other ladies are not pretty much identical to what happened at a department store. Remember, this happened at a department store with other people around. This isn't somebody going out, going to dinner, having drinks, then going back to an apartment. So I think Trump will argue that on appeal. And then, and then I think his biggest ticket argument on appeal is this Access Hollywood tape. I mean, I think Trump maybe loses on the two women testifying, but he really does have a decent argument. This Access Hollywood tape didn't pertain at all to anything specific to this case. It was taken out of context. And, and I would argue it's, it, it's inadmissible character evidence that it's just trying to impugn Trump's reputation. And, and Neil, every judge has to do an analysis that even if this evidence is deemed relevant, a judge has to determine whether it's, it has undue prejudice to a defendant. And clearly those comments made by Trump, I think, arguably uh, would create undue prejudice. We got a comment, um, and it's interesting, Brian, because of concerns of Governor Kathy Hochul of New York, who said um, she was proud to sign the Adult Survivors Act that allowed Ms. Carroll to, to, to file these charges, even though they were almost a quarter century old. What do you make of that? She said, I was proud to sign the Adult Survivors Act so brave, Survivors like E. Jean Carroll could have their day in court. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think she's going too far. I mean, we in California, for example, had a similar law that allowed a three-year window to file claims for sexual abuse if you're an adult. I, I think she should have toned that down. I think she should have said, you know, the law permitted her to file this claim and the jury spoke. But, but look, Neil, at the end of the day, uh, you know, President Trump really should have showed up at this trial. Any sexual assault case, uh, even if you, you, you claim you didn't do this, it didn't happen, you really need to send a message, Neil, to a jury that you care about the case. This is the Me Too movement. For President Trump to simply not show up, he could have showed up and not testified. He didn't show up. I mean, this woman had made disclosures to two other women. Usually you don't have that in these cases. Hmm. And, and then, you know, on top of that, his lawyers didn't call an expert witness. In a civil case, Neil, you can do what's called an independent mental health exam. And Trump could have hired a forensic psychologist to spend six or eight hours with E. Jean Carroll and interrogate her on, a, on her sexual history and on a lot of other issues. And then that expert could have come in and testified as to the veracity of Carroll. And, and Trump didn't even have that witness and I think that really did play into the jury. They're like, wow, if this guy doesn't care, he's not here. You know, that means that maybe something did go wrong. All right, Brian. Uh, thank you very much. Brian Claypool, the criminal defense attorney.